All right, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, and welcome back to the stream today. Yes, more Factorio. Fluffy, how you doing? Ooh, nice popcorn monster. Good morning to you as well. Let me check audio here real quick. Make sure, you know, stuff. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right, I got the game up already. Um, <clears throat> you hear me? Nice. All right, so we've got some science going. I'm not real happy with how I laid it out. I'm not going to deal with that today. What I need to, what I need, what I need to deal with is power. And what I learned last time was that I don't have to keep running over here and putting stuff. Um, I can use the logistics network to do that. <clears throat> um, but to do that is what I have to do is I need to have a train down here to drop stuff off. And that, that's what I want to figure out. Who are power? Yes. <clears throat> so as it stands right now, they have 9.3 gigajoules of power. Um, I'm not researching anything. And up here over the weekend, I experimented with something because I didn't know if it was going to work. And I think it's going to work. So something I learned from this is I didn't know you could how do I know I didn't know Factorio was smart enough that if you name stations the same name if there's not room it will find the next one I went what so I did the same thing over here I have two uh iron unloads to bring the raw and drag it to a new um smelting operation so right now i have four trains pulling from here dropping off here and uh it works <laughs> i can add a fifth train that would be loading up so when one of these guys moves out it would fill a spot so th that that that's a game changer to me so right now this is servicing uh steel which is actually um part of the setup and I already have the iron ready to go, but I'm waiting for this stuff to be depleted. And then of course we have to do uh, the copper. So I think what that means is I'm gonna have to shift stuff around as soon as this stuff gets used up. <clears throat> On the copper is what I wanna do is something similar. Um, this would be awkward because I don't know how to get, I guess I'd have to put a station here and drag this stuff all the way over here somehow. I don't know, but uh, I have a little tiny frog in my throat. It's not a sick throat, throat. It's just waking up still. So, um, so today's focus is to make solar panels. And actually, what I need to focus on is see if I can get a train set up so I can distribute stuff and not worry about going down there. So, and here I am running around. Oh, 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 so I've, I've added also, I have the power armor with some solar panels and stuff. So, yeah. <clears throat> so I run a little bit faster. All right, so let's, um, let's go. And I'm still favoring the nanobots because of their speed. <gasps> oh. Okay, dangerous. All right, so let's hold up here for a sec. Whoa. Um, so is what I've added <clears throat> is a junction here that comes over here that way. And then actually I, the trains, some of them take advantage of it too. So um, let's go over here and can I simply just add the junction on top of all this? And hey, that'll work, <clears throat> excuse me. How come, how come nanobots aren't doing what they need to do? Oh, oh, priminy, that's why. Ugh, all right. I'm barely within the construction. Oh, wait, so let's test something out. If I'm outside 
of a construction zone. Turn that off. For them to all come back. Um, put them in storage. And let's see, if we do this, oh, see, there's the construction zone right there. It's, it's that green area, right? Now, oh, there we go. There we go. All right. So, all right, all right, I get it, I get it, I get it. Can I make my robots a little bit faster? Need yellow. All right. All right. When I'm out in the field, I use nanobots. All right. So, um, uh, something's wrong here. I guess that doesn't quite work. All right. I did something wrong. Don't worry, this won't break the train network. No, 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 you guys. Oh, you guys are gonna take stuff I need. All right, I'll just, I guess I'll retrieve it. Right now, this is not connected to the grid, so I need to connect to the grid somehow. All right. Whoa. Okay. Hang on. I broke something. Oh, that's not connected. Wait, wh why is that not connected? Oh. That's better. Oh, all right, let's go up here. Get that. All right. Um. can't put a junction there that's why that got all screwy i don't understand train tracks that well to uh understand the what do you call them the rails in the chain I, I thought i did it once but then i just got lazy all right so um how do we do this so the question is do I have enough room between the panels? Let's see. No. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, 
No, don't put stuff. Stop. Ugh. All right. Um, where am I? So let's put those guys there. Turn that off. Turn that off. All right. So then we can do nanobots. I need to. I need to make enough space so the rail system. Let's see if I can do that. If I can go down the middle, maybe that would work. Or, um, still thinking out, trying to think outside the box here. They have to be close enough to where the they connect. So let's see here. Um, well, wait a minute. If um, actually that doesn't help at all. Uh, what we'll have to do is just again put a junction to just send a train on top and then drop stuff off from below. All right, all right, that's how we'll do it. That's how we're gonna do it. First of all, what I wanna do is I'm getting tired of this thing interfering. There we go. <clears throat> Jeez. Why didn't that work? I died. I know. Horrible. Would have been funny, but. I know I just had this here. I, I get it, but I, I, I couldn't think clearly here. All right, so this doesn't work. I have to put that there. Yay, all right. Fine. See, I only have solar panels for power generation, so having a lot of construction bots going back and forth ain't going to be good for me.
All right, I think I can work this setup. <clears throat> All right, so if we bring and do a train uh, drop off here and then put the yellow I have to use yellow because it, that's the only way I can retrieve stuff. So let's, um, I have to do some landfill. Now, am I, am I outside of the construction zone here? Uh, not really. All right, let's see. Let's find I'm unloading. And we're going to turn those guys off I can't use the nanobots inside of a logistics network yeah. why why aren't they working confused just when I thought I understood hmm get it uh, so we trying to bunk the system here <clears throat> feels like I'm almost creating more work than there should be now I'm going to have to, I have no way of actually having a depot connected to this. I'm going to have to make the stuff here, walk it over here, drop it off, and let the train go back and forth or something like that. All right, so hang on a sec. Don't you guys get up here? I don't, I don't understand why this doesn't work. Let's turn this off. Turning off for stop. All right, so did they all come back? All right, so there's all the bots. Personal robot port is off. So let's test this out up here. So if we remove those. Okay, that works. Oh, that's weird. It's really weird. Be much faster. I understand now I'm within the logistics network because of the robo ports down low. Oh, all right. So do I got everything here I need? Looks like it. Cool. All right. So what we need to do is make one of those. I'm going to call this uh, solar unload. That's all it needs to be. Yeah, I can actually put pictures in here, can't I? That's really cool. Where is the solar? No. No. Yes. <laughs> ah, that's funny. All right. All right, so let's uh, turn this on. Those guys there.
All right, so the idea here is if we take a look at these RoboPorts. So the orange is the logistics network and the construction zone is the green. So the, the logistics and construction, no. Yes, no. Wait, I'm confused. Which is which again? So the green is the entire construction. The orange is the logistics. Right, All right, All right, 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 right. Okay, okay. And it's kind of broken. All right, so let's test something out here. Um, we're going to make, oh, here. We're gonna run back, load up on some gears. Actually, okay, let's run back. Where's the car? Uh oh, oh, there it is. We're going to start the production of solar panels, um, uh, accumulators, aka batteries. What else do I need? Can't remember. If I get this set up, that means less of me running back and forth, which I like. Whoa. All right. So let's stop off here. Okay, wait. Come here. No, no, no. Stupid car. There we go. All right, now there's no network over here, right? No. So we're going to um, do that. That's nice. And uh, do that. And then do this. No, no, can't do that. All right. Um, so what we need to do is get this production going. So what are we missing here? We are missing greens. I got greens. All right, so we're gonna load up as many greens as I can. Beantastic. Race, dude, thank you so much for the 50 bucks, man. I appreciate that. Oh man, generosity. That is so cool. Race, I really appreciate that, man. I. <laughs> That's awesome. Race, I assume you're out there. How you doing, man? Oh, geez, I just realized the new audios didn't go off. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. Race, how you doing, man? All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And I'm trying to do this evenly. One, two, three. One, two, three. You're doing all right? <clears throat> Tell you what. I got two really good nights sleep in a row. You know, that always makes a difference. All right, so what else do we need here? We need steel and copper. All right, so let's go load up on steel. Ray, so man, I really appreciate that. I really do, and you didn't have to do that. Uh, okay, let's just load up all. Right. Um, then we need copper. What I want to do is let's put that there so I can get more copper. All right. Ah. <sighs> oh man, dude! Don't make me feel bad, dude. So I've got some, uh, hang on a sec here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, all right. So, um, I'm going to create a channel inside Discord for all this do-it-yourself stuff I'm doing at the house. And, and, and nothing of it is like cutting edge, but it's, it's a learning process for me and hopefully passing that on 
you know, you guys will go, oh, cool, or yeah, I knew that already. So I've got two doors that are identical. That they're, um, they're closet doors. So the closet we're going to actually demo and we're gonna be putting a portion of this room we're gonna use hopefully for a bathroom. So I took the doors off and they're the ones that have got the little wheels that slide back and forth. And um, what I was experimenting with is using the citrus acid paint stripper. Works incredibly well. Um, it's a process though, because you put it on and if, if you're trying to do no cutting edge, do you have a fence instead? Yes. <laughs> um, so those are working. All right, we gotta get these going. Is that full? Oh, wait. Uh, all right, give me those and those. How come it stopped? We need, oh, we need batteries. Oh, I got batteries right there. I'd be interested, gonna have a lot of free time coming up, need to keep myself busy. Oh, yeah, it's, um, the, the, the thing is, is I, I don't know, now, let me back up. So I have used a compressor and a spray gun. Now, why don't we just use rollers and paintbrushes? We did, but the ceiling in our house is a tongue and groove and replacing it or, yeah, replacing it would just be basically removing your, horse ce your whole ceiling. And the only two rooms in the house that have got sheetrock is the bathroom because it recently got remodeled and the last room that was added to the house. So everything else is tongue and groove. Um, now we have kind of a, an idea to not get rid of it, but to cover up the tile and groove by using some very thin, like half inch, creating some sort of, sort of very thin framing and then getting very, very thin sheetrock, like quarter inch sheetrock and then putting that up but that is that's a couple years in the future so the best way to do it right now is just to paint it but there are some spots where there's been some water damage uh some heavy some light and um the uh, trying to paint over the tongue and groove because it's aged it will peel and that means that gets stuck to the roller becomes a pain in the butt so the only other thing to paint it and it looks really nice painted uh, the whole room lights up it pops it's really good so the only way to paint it is with um you know compressor and and a spray uh thing if you have a compressor you can also use it to sand stuff instead of sanding normal um yeah the the when we got um i've got a, a sanding stick so we don't have too many really really big walls uh, a lot of them are smaller so what, uh, what we're gonna do is I'm trying to take these doors and get, get them sanded down to the wood, which I don't have to, but I just want to. And then I'm gonna use these doors as kind of a test bed because the new spray can, the, the one I had before was a Husky and there's just one adjustment. And that was for the atomization. Now I've got these cobalts. One is a gravity fed, one's a siphon fed. And they've got three adjustments on it. And I gotta read the book and see what they're doing. But what I'm trying to do is get the doors strip down so I have a test environment. And uh, so that's what I'm working on right now. Anyway, all right, so um, we need to get more. Okay, we'll put those there. So that's gonna be happening within the next week. Unfortunately, when I bought the compressor and the paint kit, it didn't come with all the connections we needed. So I had to go out and get some more. So I've been posting pictures of the, the stripping process. So yesterday is what I did, is I went through five fully charged batteries on my orbital sander and uh, eight 40 grit discs. So yeah. So let's see here, let's put, not all those, I want some. Let's go get some batteries. Now with the, the citrus acid, I've watched several videos on the process and it's incredible that it works. It takes a little bit more time, I guess. Hang on, can't think clearly when I'm doing all this. Batteries. The uh, the citrus acid, it, it peels, but in the, where the details are is what you have to do is get in there with uh, a rag and mineral spirits, which I didn't watch the video all the way. So I got mineral spirits coming next week. Um, I could not find some at the, and Home Depot is like 45 minutes away. So I, I, it's something I can put off. So 
when you when you put the the stripper in the detailed area and then you you pull off the plastic then you go in there with a rag with some mineral spirits which is a solvent so it will clean that stuff up and it should look really really nice on the areas where it where i scraped it off the sanding was so minimal so but it, you, you've got to get all that goop off of there though all right so we're making making that i need to go back to making these so what are we missing oh all right i can do that here have all those and then what are we missing here greens all right have the greens all right so while we're sitting here we're going to make those so i need to come over here and grab those we need some more greens so we're going to load up on some supplies here Then we're going to start dumping this stuff in train and hopefully we can get the solar going and I don't have to keep running back and forth. It might be faster, but I'd rather have it. I'd rather set it up so it can do it. All right. So I went and got greens because why? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Um, all right, so let's go find a spot to put this train. So we're going to do a loading. Actually, it doesn't have to be that, that complicated. <laughs> I say that now. Um, all right, let's do a junction. That's not what I want. So if we put that there, actually, let's just put it over here. So anyways, it's going to be a, a lot of painting, a lot of sanding. Um, and uh, I'm hopefully next month, I'm going to sheetrock the garage. Oh, wait, get rid of this. That there. All right. So. I just need to do a very need some more uh, stuff. What am I looking for? Oh, yeah. Back to that. All right, that should be enough. Oh, um, I, I printed a chibi Iron Man 3D. He's got some stuff on him. And then I, I learned how to do supports. And it's hard to see, but this is a... An alien? It's it's more like uh, something you use in an alien board game, but it's got a lot of supports on it. So I need to get some needle nose pliers and some snips just for 3D printing and not swap between stuff I use elsewhere. All right. So if we do this, I'd like to I'd like to redo all the interior doors, all our 70s. These are these are about the same thing too. Um. Are the doors solid or are they the kind of, I don't want to say cheaper, but are they the... Hollow, yeah. See, every single door at this house, with the exception of the external ones, are solid wood, which is good. Don't get me wrong. Uh, okay. This is where I fail. Uh, 
right, we're just gonna have to figure this out. Yay. Cool. All right, that's my own little personal depot. And we need a train stop. I'm missing stuff. <clears throat> but that that's what we are eventually going to do after we move in. What we're trying to do is get everything like 85 to 90 percent so the stuff we have to do is not going to interrupt our way of life had that sound really hoity-toity didn't it all right so what do i need to make that i need steel all right and then i can make one of those um I got a lot of really oddball stuff to do. Like I said, the, the house initially didn't have an HVAC when it was built 70 plus years ago. They used, uh, they opened up the windows and they had a fireplace. And then when they added on, they had a, I'm gonna say a pellet stove or a, it was a coal stove actually, I think. And of course those all went away and they started using um, an HVAC but the heater portion of it broke, the AC still worked. So instead of replacing it is what they did is they installed these, uh, I think the company was called Monitor and they were kerosene heaters. So they just kept using the air conditioning part of the HVAC and used the kerosene heaters and they had them in the two larger rooms and they were electrical and they had a fan that pushed the heat out and it, it worked. Now we got rid of uh, the kerosene tank. So the fuel lines, the heaters are gone, but in the walls is still the vent, the exhaust, and the fuel line. So I have to go inside and hacksaw, pull it through. So that means there's one hole in the wall. And the vent is about yay big, and it goes through the brick. So I have to do a little uh, masonry work. What I would like to do is, when it gets a little bit warmer, get there and see which brick or bricks are impacted. And we've got plenty of extra bricks from when the house was built, and just chisel them out and fill them back in and then on the other side it's just sheetrock yeah i know all right so i'm gonna grab this and see if i can figure out how to do this again that should work right that should work all right so now can i make i can't make a train because i need engines but um yeah the the rooms are all the original sheetrock um the uh I always had three propane heaters, one in the kitchen, fireplace, living room, and back library. The main heat was based on a water heater. Oh, nice. Wow, that's incredible. What am I looking for? Oh, I need engines. And okay, so why did you stop making engines? Because, oh, you filled up, all right. All right, so one, and then one, two, three, four. No, 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 stop get some cog but now uh then later on i think it was 2015 or 16 the hvac got completely replaced and uh the heaters aren't used anymore and then just uh just last year the um the hvac was fine it the, it the thermostat went now was the thermostat oh it was the um the pump inside the HVAC, which was under warranty, went bad. And each time it would make a call back to the thermostat, it would uh, blow a fuse, not in the house, but in the HVAC. So that was a perplexing one to figure out. Um, building up some nice solar panels here. Nice. And this stop, no, that's not, that's still working. All right, so let's go down here and finish what we're working on. So we got one, two, three, four. All right. So this is going to be called. No, not Jack Odom. How about Gamer's Circle Stop? There we go. Then we'll put 
train. And then the cars. Neat. Should have some fuel on me. I do. Go. So let's do this. Let's um add a station. Alex is here. Hi, Alex. Alex waved. <laughs> let's add um a refuel. Wait for inactivity. Then we're gonna come back to here. Let's have it go do that. You now we're gonna wait for full cargo. And we said, guys. Okay, is that? There it is. Yay. Nice. Now it's all refueled, right? Cool. Now the plan is that we are going to put stuff to it a little bit more. Let's see here. How do I? How, this is all real manual, but, but getting stuff back and forth, at least I won't be zipping back and forth. So we're going to do two per car right now. No power down here. All right, so can. Ooh, ooh, I like that. Then we can go. Woohoo, look at that. They're all powered. All right, um, it's the little things. All right, so right off the bat, let's make a whole bunch of these. They're needed over there. Let's go restock for that. <clears throat> so anyways, we have kind of a game plan, but you know, the game plans don't always come together. And we're working on rooms that won't be impacted by contractors or subcontractors or anything like that. So the hallway which is the smallest room. It's also kind of our test room. Um, just needs one more coat of paint, but we need to do a, a light sand, like 120 grit, and then paint the second coat. And it looks really nice just with one coat. It looks really nice, but there are some imperfections underneath the first coat that you can see that I'm pretty sure the next coat will uh, clean up. Um, so if I turn put those there, turn that on. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Turn that back. Uh, what am I looking for? For that. All right, let's have the logistics network restock us. Take out our trap. Oh, it's not going to restock. It's going to, okay. Fine. And and uh, the hallway is just waiting on me to learn how to use the uh, paint sprayer. room for that they might be a little slow but at least I don't have to run around and get all this stuff um let's see so we got enough of that oh we need some more of these
And we need some more of these. Hey, Cram, what's up? Yes. Yeah, what I'm what I'm going to try to focus on right now is I want to stop running back and forth from I guess it's referred to as the mall where you make stuff. And I'm I'm setting up a train where I can drop stuff off and it will it will I'm sorry, where where I will drop stuff off and then the train will go over to where the solar panels are and unload the stuff into these and then the the construction bots over there will then grab the stuff and uh, do the work versus me having to do the stuff. And what I experimented with was something that I learned last, actually I learned from this. So I didn't know that having multiple stations with the same name, the game would figure out where to put the next train. I said, wait a minute, if, if I can do that, can't I do the same thing up here? So I created four trains same name and when they come down here to pick up stuff they find a, an open spot and it works i'm i'm blown away uh, so right now we're just waiting for uh some resupplies making some stuff i need and i'm kind of switching back and forth between using nanobots and the logistics network because they're a little slow. Yes, Alex, they're slow. Love my girlfriend, love my girlfriend, love my girlfriend. All right, so still waiting on copper, right, right there. Oh, pulling the copper from over there. All right, that's fine. Uh, let's make... Make some of those. Uh, so what I've set up up here using electric is the um, steel and the iron as soon as this gets depleted. So what I need to do is start doing some research on some stuff I really don't need so I can use up all those resources. Um, but I, I want to, so I think if I focus on, yeah, we'll do that, do that. Uh, okay, do that and do that. I'm trying to set up the yellow science hacks in my game pretty big job you mean the oh the yeah that's actually i don't think i'm gonna do that that today that one yeah that requires i have blue circuits i mean i could set that up today but um my so it requires lubricant which we have i have all this stuff here it's just Maybe I'll do it because if I can get enough yellow science, hey, Guru, how you doing? If I can get yellow science online, I can get um, faster robots. Ooh, let me try that. So we can put the yellow science down here. See, this is, I thought I was doing such a good job spacing things out, but the what my, my big goal is to have enough smelting so for each how do you for for each need from the bus i have enough bus lines channel that's it channels that's right i'm saying channel uh okay so now uh hang on can i make sure i got enough stuff here uh, oh.
Right. Oh, I can't do those. All right. I've built some thingies that might be called mega bases. The bus thinking just plain does not. Oh, oh, I got you. Yeah, I, I've never made a mega anything. Well, a mega mess. Go ahead, continue. Pull it off like it's a band-aid. Seems to me that a distributed system with efficient train network. That's what I'm trying to do, Cram. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm, I'm at that stage though. I don't have the volume of resources coming into my factory to do what I want to do. So something that someone said that if you have a bus, well, so we'll call this a bus, right? And this has four channels. If you pull off more than four, it's going, if you have a consistent feed, but you pull more than it can feed, then it's gonna suffer. I said, all right, well then let's try to have enough space to where I can do that. So that's what I wanna do, but getting there is is half the battle, you know. Are you gonna share some of those with me? In other words, are you gonna give me the bag? Mm. She's got a snack. All right, are we ready to go? All right, we're ready to go. Oh wait, why do I got those? Need to get those consumed. All right, let's get replacement. Oh, yeah, I, I think, I think for me, what works best is understanding the bus and like I said, I, I have a lot of space here. It's just unfortunately some resources got in the way. So I, I guess I could eventually move the main factory somewhere, but eventually I'm going to use up all these resources. So I'm just going to have to work around them. And I have updated blueprints to replace all these that are a lot more faster and efficient too. Are we good? No, I'm still waiting for greens. Here they come. Oh, yay. Thank you, Alex. So we, what, what are these called? Cinnamon Toast Crunch Popcorn. Hard to see, but it's a breakfast snack. All right, now let's go. All right, so we're down here trying to make stuff that we're gonna put on the train that we're gonna send over. Train train network's not, <clears throat> not quite done, choking. All right. So would these go faster if we used all right, fine, we'll do it then. All right, Alex? Oh, we need cogs. <clears throat> Gears. I say cogs because Jetsons, you know. All right, so let's, um, does Pookie Kitty get a snack too? He, he's got a 24 by seven bowl and he, he thinks he's gonna starve. So he sometimes will eat too fast to get sick and then hurl. <clears throat> That's right. I got a little graphic on the morning stream. Sorry, guys. <sighs> Sometimes he thinks he's hungry when he's not. All right. So wait a minute. If I turn this off, let's put that, that. Yeah, that's right. I was talking about you. Now let's try that. There we go. Um, wait. Really? All right, so we got more over there. Oh, we're out of greens. All right, so. Okay, then if we put those back there, do that. 
You're almost out of greens too. Perfect. Let's do put all this back. Oh, that didn't fit. Why? Oh, the cog. What else uses cog? You guys have stopped because of why? Green. So let's put all those there. Well, I'm, I'm using it to use up my science. So I'm researching science so that it draws the resources from... So I've got small amounts of copper and stuff. I'm trying to clear this out so I can bring this down. There is some sort of method to my madness here. We need greens. I'm going to increase this to, say, 800. Now, I can process the nuclear for the fuel and use that in the trains. I've never used nuclear fuel. It's called nuclear fuel, right? So I've always used, I've used rocket fuel in trains, but I've never used nuclear fuel. Oh, I'm going to give that a try, I think. Um, really? Oh, that's probably why that doesn't work very well. There we go. Oh, it's not that big. All right, let's see here. So, uh, rocket fuel, vehicle acceleration is 180%. So, but, okay, all right. Oh, wait a minute. So you can actually use this to burn in smelters too? Is that, am I, really? You can put that in the steam. I think that would like bust the, um, the boiler though. <laughs> I mean, that's 250% acceleration. When you got a large train network, they're going places. But yeah, maybe the actual manufacturing. All right. I think we're finally done. Keep saying that. So, um, go over here. And... These aren't running because they need the, all right, so. These aren't going because they need greens also. All right, so I need to turn this off and just load up with green somehow. Um, Let's make a, a bucket, right? No. Uh, I need to drop off some stuff and load up on greens. Nothing in my trash. All right. <laughs> All right. So greens. Nice. There we go. All right. Now, eventually when we get the, um, wait a minute, hang on a sec. If I do yellow, Ooh, and get requester chests. All right, let's do this right. So this is suffering because it needs green. All right. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, I put that in the wrong bin. All right, nine. Nine. You don't need it. Nine. All right, eight. All right. Now let's. Pick all that up, turn that on. Now let's go get restock. Yeah, all the really nice chocolate covered yummies.
Alright. <clears throat> Alright, so unfortunately, I'm carrying. Spit on myself. I'm carrying plastic around. I don't need plastic. So we're going to drop that off. Right <clears throat> there. <clears throat> Alright, so here we go. Alright, that's fine. Be a little bit of a test run. Gotta work out the kinks. <clears throat> so let's load up panels in that one. We have four cars, panels, accumulators, power, lights. Right. More panels. Emulators. Whoa. <clears throat> All right, some more panels. Not too many. And these are accumulators. And then I want to put those. All right, let's get some automation on the lights going. I'm go ahead and get all those made. All right, let's set up automation for light bulbs. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so if we do that there, that's gonna be a light bulb. <clears throat> The output. That. Do you need greens? I got greens. You need. Oh. Um. All right. So we're going to find that. That. Let this thing fill. Yeah. Hopper. Uh, and then we need. Those. All right. Let's get resupplied again. Oh, a lot of stuff. So last, um, last Thursday, Alex and I did a little bit of a get to know our 3D printer. This guy created a video <clears throat> explaining why it's important to have a not only a level bed and ours auto levels but also why to have a the best possible z offset and ours was set to zero and stuff would print so like this here which is you know a little little tool to identify screws and their length and stuff like that i think it printed fine <clears throat> um but I can see now a, a few uh, detailing issues. And so we um, we followed this guy's video and used one of his, he had a little test object that was just a square. And halfway through printing the square, <clears throat> we would adjust our Z offset so we could see like how things got worse or better. And then we, we determined which one we thought looked better and now we have a permanent Z offset adjustment. I think it's, what, 0 0.1? Not listening to me. <clears throat> so I printed um, my Chibi Iron Man. And he's got some, some cleaning up to do, but I think he printed out really good. 
and as soon as I get some pliers, I'm gonna pull off the supports for my little, that's an alien. So, are we all restocked? Ooh, that's cool. All right, so now, um, let's go get lights set up. <clears throat> all right, so that's working. Okay, we need more copper there. Um, that, that. Cool. Oh, wait, we don't need to... Fill the whole thing up with lights. All right. All right. So this is enough to do a test. Test run. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I can actually put filtering or something on these things. I, I don't know how. But anyway. But right now we're just gonna do it simple. I guess I could have just dumped him in there. All right, let's go. <clears throat> so after this, work out any kinks. And then we're going to set up yellow science for what it's worth. Uh, I missed this whole run up to this point. Any chance of a quick summary? Um, no biters. I can't use nuclear as power. The steam that I have set up is all the power I get. So I have to focus on using solar and I'm getting tired of running back and forth. So I'm trying to set up a stop here called the gamer circle stop and i'm going to drop off and put into yellow chests the components that are needed for over here and that way the logistics network over here which is just construction bots will build as long as they have enough supplies <clears throat> the overall concept is i use the bus system to get stuff back and forth but i've always been even though i might have had enough coming in to the channels I was always drawn off more than it can do. So I want to try to create multiple channels to supply for creating greens, reds, blues, and stuff like that. Hey, and morning notable. How the heck are you doing? So we're, we're good. Let's uh, actually, I, I hope so. I hope it's brilliant. You are the first person to call me brilliant in this game. You are going to be severely shot down. <laughs> and let's make some more of these resupplied I, I I often get the uh you're doing it wrong I go okay I'm just making some stuff here and getting resupplied then we're going to take the train over manually and set up the uh the drop-offs and um see what happens Myself, I've always built things too close. This one, I'm spreading things out on purpose. Like I said, but I have, this is in the way and I'm not worried about it. Even though it's 39 million iron, I'm not gonna worry about it because this is my factory floor. Uh, I might spread things out or put drills and dump them into logistics bots and do it that way. But this one, I'm gonna drag this hopper all the way up to the smelters um, this one, I'm going to somehow drag to a train over here. So that way I can use it. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't got that far ahead. So we're, we're good. All right. All right. Let's go for a train ride. Shall we? The concept here is not to use my logistics spots. To build anything. All right. So I just want to make sure we have enough. Got a good... Good panels, good accumulators. That's a little, no, I think actually that's okay. And the lights are good. All right. Oops. All right, let's go to at a station. Oh wait, look at there. All right, and let's uh, wait for 
Um, empty cargo, but we're gonna. There's nothing to empty. Right. Oh, actually, it will empty, so we need to put on manual when we get there. Go oh, ahead. There was a <clears throat> someone in chat. Quick, quad. Uh, built this depot for me, and that was brilliant. And it, it is so self-serving. I love it. All right, so let's hop out and put that on manual. So now this is gonna mix everything. Does that matter? Probably not. All right, let's see how, do we have a network up here? No, we don't. So I can use those guys there. Let's clean this up a little bit. So now the logistics network, let's go ahead and... So we're gonna bring those down to here. And it can be within, should be within the yellow. All right, so we're going to... <clears throat> I have some over here, but I'm gonna designate these all for uh, certain trash items like, see that one is also, that is all lumber. The last big thing I had, I thought that I left enough space. Then I ended up 58 steel smelter train stations ran out of. Oh man, dude. Um, okay. That's filtered on. All right. So, oh, we need a stone one, right? So that's coal and this should be stone. Right. Yeah. There. Now, if they have to do any demo, they have a place to send it. All right, so here, um, do some pseudo in here. So I can't send a rail through there. Oh, I could, actually. We're going to do it right here. Um, oh, actually, no, no, we could do, we could do this. Oh, wait, wait, hang on. <clears throat> if we put these like here, then we could do Buckets. All right, I think that'll work. We're going to test out with just one row, though. If this this does work, then I can figure out how to do a a smarter version. So now this has got lights and power. So let's see what happens here. <clears throat> so we should see. Uh oh. Not working. All right. So oh maybe we don't need. It's possible. Okay. Oh, okay. Hang on. All right. <clears> Hold, <throat> oh, please. I know what the problem is. <laughs> we need to have more of this. Oh, geez. Okay. Oh, where am I at? Where am I at? Oh, okay. All right. All right. So now I got to figure out the proper placement. That's lined up. I think that's all right. So now, no, 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 I don't want to stop there. Okay. So now these are construction bots from the network grabbing stuff from there. How come there's only one robot working? That's strange. All right. Oh, let's do. Oh, because there's just lights. Okay. All right. All right. Hang on. I think this is going to work.
<clears throat> so if we watch this, what we should see is an attempt to build that. Oh, you know what? We might have to make... Dang it. I forgot how to play the game. We're going to have to make some of those. Yeah, there they come. Oh, yeah. Now they're doing stuff. Thing is, is these guys will fly out beyond... Uh, no, they won't go beyond, but if, if they... If a RoboPort gets put out there and there's not power, they'll... Uh, <laughs> Run out of power. Okay. I need to uh, put cogs onto a, a thing. So let's do that right here. So I think this is going to work out. I just have to... Um, So if I click on, so there's 160 construction bots. All right, I can add 90 more. Wow, that's taking forever. Each solar panel requires how many? Eight. All right. <clears throat> All right. Not not a bad first test run here. Add those, turn off my network. And do I have, I do. So can I make, make two more? Oh. That copy, I don't think that copy, no, I didn't. All right, so I, I can't do it like that. <laughs> um,
Alright, this is cool. This is gonna work out. We just have to make a lot more stuff. Alright, now let's turn those guys on. Now with this set up, we could do this. Um, so at the refuel, we have an activity. There we wait for empty cargo. And then here, we, uh, th this should all just work just fine. I'm gonna go for a train ride. Hey, Flash, how you doing? Uh, I'm trying to set up, I don't want to say an automated, but so this is going to stay here until all that's full. Right, okay. Um, this is going to have lights in it. All right, so I'm doing fantastic, man. I really am. I need to make... 16 um, of those. So let's go. Up. Oh, 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 that's right. That's right. Hang on. This might throw. I'm all over the place still. I need. Right. What's so fantastic about my current life? Well, um,. Alex and I are working on our house to move in. So it's it's really cool to see, you know, what we do to it just brightens it up, makes it better. You know, and there's a lot of big hurdles in the way. Some stuff that we can't do that we're going to get a contractor to work on. Um, I need more. All right. So if we put... Those we put this here. Okay, that that got a problem because there's no thing, right? So we have to go. Hmm. I don't know if I want to do this. <clears throat> so let's try to keep some sort of um, symmetry. I know that's a Kerbal term. I'm gonna try. Not gonna work out 100%. Now, what I'm trying to do is get there. All right, so now we need to power. Okay, we need some power up here. Okay, and some power there. Okay, there. Now, we can hang out here get stock cool slow and steady wins race that's correct and I do kind of post some of the progress of the stuff I'm working on 
out in Discord. What are you doing, Alec? Wait. These guys are noisy. How many, how many logistics bots? All right, 685. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Um, <clears throat> so we're gonna go down and restock all the production of solar panels, accumulators, lights, and I need to make 16 of these. Freaking out. Ooh. Okay, what don't I actually need? I think I need everything. That was a very rude noise you just made. Uh, what I need is, where's the next suit of, oh, there it is. Wait, I've got that one. Hmm. All right, we need to work on getting yellow science and we're gonna put it over here. As soon as we get restocked. All right. Cause I think we got everything we have for it. It's just gonna trickle in really, really slow. How slow? Really, really slow. So blueprint, yellow. Oh, okay. Um, all right. That's un that's unfortunate. Okay, so we have stone. Does this need stone? No, all right. Wait a minute. Maybe I don't have to put it. No, I think I want to put it. I can actually do this. Turn these guys off. For them to all come back. Hmm. Put these guys there. There we go. Oh. Um. So this, this is gonna be the first all blue network. So I need to go to this and do that, all right, already in there.
All right, so we're just missing. I think I got actually not everything. All right, we'll come back. So let's um, put those guys away. Do that. Do that. I stand right here they should bring everything to me we're gonna do that seems to be holding but the smelters the electric smelters aren't running that's my big fear there they go there they are that's him Finally, delivery system. So I'm not going to go over and uh, finish the yellow. I want to, I want to get the power going. Probably should have met them halfway. Really? Rumble. Oh dear. Kind of a waste. I'm not going to worry about that. All right. So we've stopped production because of greens. All right. So we're going to turn this off. We're going to go put up on greens. Now, is there a reason why the underground production 
Did I just use up a lot and we didn't have enough to resupply? Let me check that real quick. Alright, so what's the deal here? This is making 200. Oh, alright, let's up the production. There we go. Alright. <clears throat> um blues aren't in the network and they should probably be there we go and then we were going to port a lot of goodies all right so let's go down so, still running back and forth. Accumulators doing good. This stop because oh, loot inserters. All right, so let's make a whole bunch of those. I need to make uh, hang on. Push up. All right, so I need eleven more. Five, ten, eleven. Let's finish up these.
right, let's go ahead and um, grab some panels, emulators, load it up the train. Panels, emulators, uh, power. So each one of those panels needs how many power? Oh, 53. Oh. I was doing the wrong. There we go. Go and cool. All right, we're gonna set another batch of stuff over. Oh, I forgot to put. Oh, got it. I forgot to put those there. All right, grab those. in there 16 all right um whew, i'm awake so let's go ahead and um turn this off but those there Poles, inserters, and assemblers. All right. As we need 23, but I'm wondering if you're counting up here also. Probably is. Drop off all these inserters now. Make room. Hey, editor, how are you doing today? We're uh, attempting to automate some stuff here. Attempting. Trying to get more power online because I'm, I'm trying to get rid of the old smelting that's using coal. Note that I'm concerned with the uh, pollution, but they're slow. Um, let's see, do I have room for... Where are they? Hang on. Hang on. Stop chasing me.
Sent yesterday rebuilding to the home network. Wait, sent yesterday rebuilding the home network. Oh, oh, cool. So redoing your own. That's really nice. Dang it, get hung up on stuff. Hey, Saturn, good morning to you. Or good morning to you. All right, so we're just missing inserters. So what we can do is, uh, all right. Drop off these lights. Dang it. There we go. Alright, as soon as I get all the um what are these kind of called the roboports built? Uh then we're gonna send the train on its way, and then we're gonna to try to work on the yellow science. So let me go up here, get restocked. I was able to get a uni Unify 40 import switch and security gateway to replace the spectrum router. Oh, wow. That's, um, that's pretty nice. I, I, you know, for our little home network, um, our Asus and Asus has its own mesh and it's okay. But I think, um, what we'll eventually switch over to is the, um, Deco because the, their mesh is, is better eventually. Yeah. The, um, I, I, we were having nothing but problems with the spectrum routers they're, they're they're not you know they're consumer based right so they're not made to last for years and years and years and years but at least they don't cost any well i guess if you have their wi-fi it's five bucks all right i need to uh waiting for Reds. probably step in and try to fix that. We'll do that after. All right. And so instead of putting yellow online, we'll um, get that addressed. Oh, let me, let me take a look. I'm in the wrong chat. There it is. Wow. That's a lot of wires. Nice. 
Hey, I see some fishing poles back there. What are you using for a NAS, editor? <clears throat> Alright, so how many do we have? Oh, five. Do you like them? I guess the, the most in question are the drives hot swappable. Never heard, never heard of Buffalo. Love the QNAP. Oh, I got you. All right. I don't think I was going to go so industrial. I think I was going to go with um, Sonos, I think. Or <clears throat> find what's compatible with... Um, what is the... Um, there is a free NAS software. I think it's Pi, though. One more resupply run. We go pick up panels, accumulators, and then we're going to go address this. True NAS. Is that true NAS? True NAS. Yeah, that's it. And yeah. Let's just wait for this and that. A, an old Netgear NAS that's got two bays <clears throat> and um, it works okay. It's just very underpowered. <laughs> I get your monster. I understand. All right, so what we got? We got 27. That's good enough. I'm just waiting for all this stuff to come in. Mainly that. Come on. There they are. And they're dropping those off. All right, cool. All right. Then we're going to send the uh, chain on the on the way. Then we're going to monitor from a distance and make sure they do do. Oh, wait. We need to go over here. Grab some more. We got room. So we can grab some more panels. All right. All right, so panels go here. I don't think it really matters at this point, but let's try to stay organized. Um, let's just drop another pin. All right, so let's send this on its way. Oh, wait. Uh, okay, so go there. 
All right, let's watch this. Make sure it works. <clears throat> All right, that's going to go. It's going to unload everything. It's going to come down here to some buckets. And uh, that is a nice command state. Hey. Little right hand corner that's a very very uh handsome streamer you got going on there <laughs> so once the stuff hits here we should see all right there they are all right so this is gonna work cool all right nice all right let's see um let's go hop in the car So we have got 12.3 gigajoules of battery backup. During the day, everything is running off of solar, it looks like. That's nice. Um, I need to... Uh... Let me ask you there, editor, during the summer, does that get a little warm sitting there? Uh, all right. I know Red's got something similar. He's got six monitors facing him. All right, so let's do this. Um, turn that off. Let's put those guys there. Turn that off. No? All right. All right. So I think what we're going to do <clears throat> is we're going to take all of this out, put in some new drills, send this stuff up in this way, if possible. And, um, store it, and then we can uh, put it in the smelters. Yes. All right, so time to make a big old honking mess. Big mess, all right. So let's go over here, put some buckets. And we're gonna put some stuff. Those, those, those. Bows. All right. And that's fine. All right, here we go. So what are the chances we can get some drills in place to just, hmm. All right, so first things first, let's, um. Uh, oh, that's messy, all right, let's turn that off.
think we're gonna lose power. Okay, just to that. It's okay. And go. Put all those there. I think we're going to sneak along here and then we'll pop out and connect to there. Yeah. We're going to need those. I need some more of those. Nope, oh, can't do that. All right. Because I want to dig that up and use this. Um, actually. They're LED mount. Yeah, mine are all mine have always been LED. It just does get warm. All right, let's see here. Uh, do this. Really? Oh. Alright, so we're going to uh look here. <laughs> Alright, um So I guess what we could do is just put
right, let's um put that back. Okay, so hopefully Um let's see here we can get rid of that, that those those um <clears throat> uh oh um Okay, that's interesting. A little trouble keeping. Oh, okay, so they're all right. That's fine. As soon as we get um, productivity modules and speed modules up here, I'll be able to keep up just fine. down here. All right, so how's the solar set up? Um, looks like we need, well, we're just going to go by those numbers right now. Just waiting for a resupply. Wow. Wow. There they are.
All right. Um, so it just says we need 15 more. That must be for up there. So how many do we have? All right, let's go. Um, let's see here. We do. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay, we're <laughs> um, What are we missing? Those. This comes from that. So we're missing green. All right, let's drop. Green's in there. This is all stopped. All right, let's turn this off. <clears throat> and we need to stock up on a whole bunch of greens coming. Steel. How are you doing on coffee? Uh, okay. These these have stopped because of greens as well. Right. Some more greens. And green. Well, at least the solar panels are self-construction, a little manual intervention to get things going. And then I think this warning I got about the other, oh, well, huh. was there a second ago. Let's go, screws up here. And, um, Do we do? Oh, oh, make one. Pull from there. Oh. And put it to a splitter.
seem to work. Why, why didn't I get... Oh. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There. All right, then... There. 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 All right. Get that out. All right, coal. That coal is no longer needed, I don't think. So, oh, all right, I'll get there. Let's put it to the test here. Um, that's yellow. We don't need this stuff. I'm just going to research it to... I guess I don't have to move resources anymore. All right, let's go see what we can do about getting yellow online. I need to get some inserters here. So we need um, more. Oh, hang on. Got problems. Got some problems. <laughs> go all the way up here to do this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. So why is it saying we need one more of those? Where, where is this one at? It's 
Probably gotta be down there. I thought I sent enough. Let's, um, let's take a look at yellow here real quick. Fill in the spots. See what's missing. Oh, inserters. All right, let's go get inserters. Inserters. That's a lot of inserters. I don't need that many of them. That, that, that. <clears throat> hey, TJ, what's up, man? It's been doing good. I need to figure out what the heck's going on with the... Uh, well, first of all, let's go up and get inserters on that. Then we'll take a ride over and see how solar panels go. I just joined. Were you asking about it wanting some? Yeah, it's it's never clear. Let's see here. Maybe I can figure this out. So if I go get in this network over here, right now I have two networks. One's isolated, so the solar panels will build themselves. And then a little tiny network here and a little tiny network here. I think when I was standing in this network over here, it was saying that it needed a robo port, but I was trying to figure out where. Do I know how to use the deconstruction planner to show ghosts? Uh, no, I don't. All right, so if I'm here, it says I need one robo port somewhere. I'm not too sure where that's at. So if I'm staying in this network, it shouldn't be talking about that work or that one. So over here somewhere. But also, as I'm standing here, it's talking about the solar panels. So create a deconstruction planner along the top, select the rightmost tab First icon ghost. All right. So create. So, all right. Deconstruction planner. Um. Um. Doing good right now. I'm trying to fix a broken PS4 Pro. I got it at a yard sale for five bucks. Nice. Oh, that's so cool. I watch a, a channel where a guy uh, buys broken stuff and fixes them. All right, create a deconstruction planner along the top, select rightmost tab, that's tiles. Uh, rightmost click and select ghosts. Eh. I, don't, I don't see ghosts. All right, click on the filter button. Oh, uh. okay, I'm blind. Where's, is this the, that's not the filter. And, oh, filter button. Oh. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. I'm confused. I don't see ghosts. Maybe entities? Ah. There's a ghost in here. So Ooh. Oh, look at there. That's so cool. <clears throat> and then, what do I do with that one? So I did that right, right? Hey, I did it right. I follow good direction. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta go drop some stuff. Here. So since this deconstruction doesn't have anything in it, it won't deconstruct anything. Oh, interesting. Cool. Um, all right, so here, you, you. Now go to the map view and then All right. I'm not seeing a ghost anywhere. Oh, 
Oh, I did release it. All right, well. Sorry. <laughs> that's that's always like the last piece of information. I know it's still there. <clears throat> Love working on PCs and consoles as a hobby. That's so that's so cool, TJ. Right, so we still have. Oh, it was listed. Uh, I guess I released it. Nope, there it is. All right, so I don't know where it is. Is it over here? No, I know what those are. So. I'm not. Oh, you know what? There it is. That, that, so. Huh. I don't see how that works, though. I have some, I have my unloaders or got, so that's where it's at. Oh, I see. Um, well, all right, I'll, I'll try it next time. Oh, I guess it doesn't help if, uh, so control Z, all right, hang on. I don't think it's working. I, I guess I don't fully understand it. I tried. I did. What are we waiting for? All right. Okay. So let's, um, yeah, I'll show it when I stream. All right. I don't know if you can do a screenshot, put it out in Discord. That'll help. I try to follow direction. We're gonna go up here and just get rid of it so it doesn't antagonize me anymore. Oh wait. All right, hang on. Do 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 do, and then. Hang on, I'm gonna make a mess here before I do it. There we go. Copy. All right, then um, let's get rid of this. Those. Cool. Whoa. Hey. As long as I did that. Oh, there's one there too. Wait a minute. Interesting. That might have been it. All right, let's see. Is this set up correctly to go from red to blue? Okay, so we're going to get... Swap out some uh, older belts here. I'm doing almost everything right. <laughs> That's kind of like a sideways compliment. I appreciate those. What? Uh-oh. I'm toy full. I know. I would not leave my computer with this game. My OS, my OCD would want to maximize efficiency with everything. I'm, I'm in the middle of a couple of things. I'm trying to upgrade the smelting process. And see, this is in the way, and eventually I think what I, and then this will go away as soon as we upgrade, as soon as this gets moved up here, then hopefully all of this goes away and I can have some nice straight lines. 
Um, It's always hard to take your starting area and maximize, especially when you got resources. You know, like I've got a big chunk of copper here and here. This I'm able to utilize. All right. We're going to make a, another um, solar panel run. We're going to go check out things over there. Uh, but first, we're going to put that there, put that there. So I'm gonna, I, I think I have everything. It's gonna be really slow. It's gonna trickle if I figure out what button to press here. So we have the lubricant. Yeah, we have everything, all right. Go check solar panels and we'll start dragging resources to the yellows. That's going to cause a big problem. So once I get, well, there's the yellow. And as soon as this, this coal right here is only for here. So it's going to take a long time before that gets used up. Um, pick up the last few so this says we need 300 solar panels Oop. all right well I guess we can't well we could put that that there that off Non-renewable resources make a huge difference. It's perfectly fine to let Satisfactory run on its own. Just use a sink. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like excess concrete and stuff like that. Let's hop out. That was quick.
All right, let's see what we got going on here. So this is complaining about the lack of hazard concrete. solar panels needed over here that's for sure more accumulators are we missing a light oh that's weird Evidently, someone didn't flip the switch on that one. Alright, so it's, it's, it's the hazard concrete that it's complaining about. Alright, so it looks like I just need to keep sending over... Solar panels and accumulator. All right, easy enough. If we can get yellow online, then we can get requester chests and I don't have to keep sneaker feeding this stuff. That's right, I said sneaker feed, sneaker, sneaker net. It's a long walk back. All right. Um, let's go ahead and put, whoa, all right. Let's go ahead and put those there. All right, so let's see. Oh, yes. Red inserters. Oh, I have those. All right. Let's figure out what the heck we got going on here. So this is all copper. Where's the actual science come out? Right here. So we need to turn this around. Turn that one around. And that one around. All right. Um, the heck is this doing? Does the feed okay? That doesn't need to be so traily like that. That's weird. Um, it doesn't need to be like that either. This is for what? something we don't need to do that we'll do that oh that's what I know all right so all right I think that's cleaned up so let's try to get this one going we need some copper what do we got here stone bricks we don't need stone bricks do we gonna happen need reds screens and reds don't need to be this far over here so let's do a bucket right now but stuff in here that I don't really 
need plastic. Those. Those. That. Let's go ahead and shave that down. All right, let's try to bring copper over. All right, there's steel in here. No steel, oh, there is. All right, so let's grab some steel. Copper. Uh, okay, so there's copper. Oh, no, no, no. Rumble. Um, right. Oops, that's the wrong way. I'll learn. A copper. Ashy. Yeah, All right, plastic. Where is the plastic? Um, oh, I have plastic.
Oh jeez. Oh no no no. No, 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 no. Oh, they took my robots. Fine. I need to get batteries on both sides here. Let's go fix that. Way up here. All right. Fine. Let me go get my, uh, let me go get find my robots. Put them in the trash by accident because I was trying to make some, uh, nanobot action here. Oh, wait. There. Okay. And. That's the rest of them. All right. Let's get uh get this over with and um drag um plastic over, connect that. Lubrication lubricant is right here, so that can be drugged down too. Now when we do unlock yellow, so we have that. Ooh. Oh, okay, they can carry more, but can they go faster? Oh, they can. Nice. Cool. All right. Okay, so that is the what? The Mark II. And okay, so this thing takes some ridiculous amounts of resources, right? Yeah. That's fine. Oh. How's power doing? So it's nighttime and you know, it, it would be nice. And I know there's some automation. I've had it before where if if accumulators got down to say 10%, I'd like steam to kick in. I know there's a way to do that. I, I Someone gave me a blueprint a while back. I, I lost it. Which I think I did. Huh. I um, don't need this. Some blueprints in here I don't need anymore. Oh, that's just a copy of how I smelt. I wonder why I did that. Oh well. All right, is this, is this better than what mine is? So it uses 56 and 28. Hmm. 
Hmm. It's a little bit tighter. Interesting. Are we done? All right, we're done. All right. Um, where's the plastic at? Guys, I'm going to go use the uh, restroom real quick. So I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. Alrighty, I'm back. Plastic. Uh, all right, problem. Um, thanks, Saturn. So plastic should be coming over. Oh, this is gonna be really, really ugly to clean up. So plastic comes from here. You bring it all the way over and drag it down. Now, my question is... Uh-oh. Oh, I broke something. Hang on. Fix it. How did I, how did I break that? Does that work? That worked. Wait, is that... Oh, that was for the sulfur.
Alrighty, I'm back. Sorry about that. Whoa. Microphone. All right. Um, I think. Oh, I almost got hit by a train. Right. So let's do a. Oh, big cleanup. Not looking forward to this. Uh, the, the problem is some of this is inside the network, so it's going to go a little slow. So how do we do this? Need some buckets. And. All right. So if we do this. Where's my robots? All right. Um, oh, wait, maybe it won't be that big of a, of a cleanup. Where's all the plastic? If we do a, oh, oh, okay. Okay. So I just need to figure out how to, um, sorry, I'm, I'm kind of, if I do a four to four and I can reuse two of these lines and two other ones fit. So I can't. All right. So let's see if um, so that's the outside. That's the other one. All right. So that's in the way. So let's let's um, move this somehow. Hang on a sec. Oh, thought my mouse was going to get run over. All right, I can come through and tidy. I just want to get. I can. going to be the worst hack I've ever done. Faster? Wait. Oops. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Um. So we might as well make everything kind of uniform so I know what the heck is going on here. All right, so we do, first of all, this is wrong. Uh, go. Now the question is, after all that, did I investigate far enough and can I...
Alright, maybe. Oh, no, no. Oh, wait. Did I do that right? That's right. All right. Plastic, sulfur. I can't think through all this noise here. battery here I think I should fix with um blue might work a little bit better all right so let's get this going that going and if we That was a fix, I guess. All right, so this is this is where so we're doing a belt balance down there, so it's being balanced here. <clears throat> um All right, so We're going to pull. We have to pull from the bus. All right. Let's do it like this. Hang on. Oh, I didn't mean to break that. the full bus here go connect it all Make sure it works
Got the, uh, guy, I got I got seriously lost there for a sec. All right, re maybe refresh. Oops. Oh, for a few seconds. I don't know. It, I don't see any drop frame, so internet. There we go. All right. So that keep going. Let's just make sure I don't think make sure I don't have anything broken. That works good. Now uh, on this one, uh, I have biters turned off, um, but normally I, I, I have biters on. Yes. I'm trying to learn new things and try to get a little bit better. And biters are challenged. Okay, so something's broke here. Oh, it's going the wrong way. There we go. See, like stuff like that. <laughs> so I decided that I want to learn how to do a higher, um, a higher science per minute and I was my last playthrough I had instead of using four rockets I did eight rockets but I couldn't get the resources to the rockets fast enough and I learned how to fix that but then my main factory couldn't keep up because I had too much coming off my buses and someone made a suggestion I said oh so if I have a bus that's got four channels one two three four don't pull anything any more than four off I'm going all right that means each time I pull a copper off, if I pull 10 coppers off, that's six too many. So I want to add more channels and see, and yes, that takes up more space. But at the same time, I'm hoping that that is a possible solution. All right, so right now we're trying to reestablish plastic going where it's supposed to be going. So for this one, that should be pretty easy. First of all, actually, let's go ahead and upgrade all that. Uh-oh. There we go. Maybe? Oh, this is a big mess. Just wanted to upgrade the plastic, but some, some other stuff got in the way. All right. Oh, I do balance my belt. There's some here, but just that I'm trying to be progressed productive and um, I'm trying to squeeze in some science so I can get some more goodies and then, you know, go from there. So I got balancers all over the place. If you see this long string of plastic, there's no balance here because it's coming down here and it's balanced down here. It, what, do, what do you say? There's always a method to my madness. Uh oh. Uh, I accidentally picked up a hitchhiker here. Where's he at? There he is. All right. So now, now we need to put plastic in there. So we're going to. Oh, I gotta break this up. And we're gonna go.
There, there. What? Weird. <laughs> um, all right, so let's. There we go. Now, over here. More cleanup. Trying to get plastic to the yellow science. It was only a two channel bus, so I've expanded it to four. And in the, in the um, process here, I, I need to expand or uh, widen things. Oh, wait a minute. That's a problem. There we go. Uh-oh, what did I break here? All right. That won't work. All right. Man, what a, what a kludge. And does that work? Okay, that works. That works, that works. Okay, so everything's back online. I hope it didn't break anything. Okay, where do I need the plastic at? <laughs> now that I finally got it down here. Oh, geez. All right. Plastic is right there. All right. Uh oh. Okay. Plastic. do this the plastic's gonna come down here but this is way too tight to get stuff all right so if plastic is needed for there's so what we're gonna do is come and then we're gonna bring down here and across oh that's so ugly but what we gotta do The batteries are broke somewhere. I didn't reconnect. Oh, all right. That makes sense.
All right, there's the plastic. That was a chore and a half. I got the copper, the greens. We need copper. All right, I got copper. Mm -hmm. Well, the copper needs to be extended for this one, so. <sighs> All right. Isn't that a blueprint at yellow? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They're they're both, yeah. You mean this? Yeah, that's um, uh, the the guy that made this um, then updated it. So I'm using an updated version. Yeah, and it's from who's the guy? Um, I'm sure, it's in here somewhere. Oh yeah, I, I have uh, I have no talent for creating blueprints of my, I've created a couple small ones. Um, all right, so we're doing green and we're gonna need that. Okay, so that's green circuits. All right. So yeah, that's ugly. All right, let's see if this goes here. That's going to go right along there. All right. Let's see if this will work. So we got to do that, that. Okay, that works. That works. And. Uh, Squirrel, thanks so much for the follow. I appreciate that. All right, there's the green. Yeah, barely. Now, what else do we need? Batteries. Ugh. Play as you like, but to be honest, Factorio is about solving issues. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, definitely a, mi a brain melter, that's for sure. All right, so here's my batteries. That's not so bad. An ad came up right as you were about to say who made the blueprint. Oh, well, I looked at it. Let's see. Um, this one is made by the same person that made this one. But uh, basically what I did is I searched for uh, Factorio Science Blueprint. And that's what that's how I found this one. He doesn't have his name in here, but he's got a lot of links to other stuff. My Reddit profile and stuff like that. What am I doing? Batteries, right? All right, so let's see here. Oh, you are more than welcome. Um, okay. There you go. Nice. Um, so we got blues. Got that. Wait. No, that's that part of the same. Oh, okay. And then we got. Okay. I have a feeling I'm going to run into an issue here. So, where is the iron plates? Right there. All right, that's not far. All right. So, let's get battery hooked up. The batteries. The battery. And our batteries are right there. Oh, wait a minute. 
All right, so not the best solution, but I just want to get the stuff hooked up so it'll work. So we're going to go right now. We're going to do that. Then what we can do is hang a uh oh oh that's too far dang it <clears throat> no 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 oh what did I do oh no 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 you're not oh I made a mess oh wait did I connect it. Did I do something smart? I did something smart. <laughs> That's right. Whew, that was lucky. So lucky. All right, so let's uh, um, ballers. Yeah. Uh. So if we do that, actually, no. Wait. Let's do this. Smart ish. Yes, I will take the ish. Thanks, notable. Oh, that's not what I want. So that that connects. Okay, that connects there because we need this and then we can connect that. All right. A potato. Is that a potato? Spud. All right, so that's the batteries. Uh, the blues. So blues are fed into what other science here? Is it way over here? No. Oh, I don't, I don't, that's right. I've just been making blue and I haven't been using it except for me. All right, so, oh, all right. So if we drag it all the way across, all right. It's going to be the easiest for right now. All right, let's go up here and get things sorted out supply-wise. Oh, wait a minute. Something's broke here. What did I break? What's not working? Batteries are... Oh. Yeah. That's definitely my problem. Really? Did I break that all? Oh, I did. There they go. You can see through. You can see, though, if the biters are involved in the size of the base. Yeah, I mean, if we take a look at this right here. Yeah, my pollution is a problem. So... Once I learn what, I don't know if this is gonna work, my, my big plan of, of resources. I don't know if having a multi, multiple buses, a multiple channel, multiple channels is going to work. If it is, then I'm going to enable biters um, so I can be hassled. Oh, I know, yeah, they love, they love me. All right, um, what I wanna do, I think the batteries are gonna catch up. Right. Yeah, they'll they'll be fine. Oh, are you guys trying to do something here? There you go. All right. So it was the blues. So if I bring blues down and cut right through here, yeah, I don't want to take it down there. So. All right. By the way, but this way is a good guide for what's new. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, I want to test something out before I, you know, gets destroyed by bugs. That's for sure. 
Don't need those. Don't need those. So we need another charging station here. Go. How's power doing? We're doing good. We're gonna start dipping into the uh, batteries here in a sec. Going to be some upgrades coming and I, i'm slowly trying to increase the volume that is available so it won't be such a tragic weight loss That was weird. All right, so let's bring the blue line up. Yeah, I was gonna do this. That works. Um. I have no idea if this needs to go out this far. Probably does. So we were gonna sneak blue like through here, right? Yeah. All right, so um, I guess that's all needed too. All right. Oh, oh no, what's that? All right, there's blue. turn that off and do an upgrade up here we get more better belts and then all of the inserters aren't going to get upgraded oh that's cool um i have inserters on me so wait for that to get done and then do the inserters there we go okay A little bit of a bump. All right. And the blues are going to trickle in. So what's left? Um, um, oh. All right. Now, 
we have um, lubricant. Do I have any lubricant being fed over here? No, I think it's just, okay. So would it be best to bring it down in the cross? I think so. Because lubricant's being used on the robot manufacturing, which is right here. So, no, I think that's gonna get a little too crowded. But if we bring it out down, is that gonna be too crowded? All the way down here, nice big gap. Nice big gap. All right, I think that's what we're gonna do. Hmm. Nope, that won't work. Um, I guess we're gonna have to bring it this route. All right. Oops, that won't work. So I think, I think we should be making some uh, yellow signs now. I'm not gonna try to connect the second one. Um, all right. So what are we waiting on here? Just. Science is gonna should be on this line right here. All right, that one's making science. How come this one's not making science? It's waiting for robot things. But we're not making them fast enough. All right, all right. Oh, oh, oh excuse me. Um, science. Yeah. Ooh. All right. So to make the robots, uh, the, what are these called? The robot frames. Um, does it need, no, it needs those. So what's going on? Here? Oh, I see. It's dragging from here over to there. So, and these are going. I'm so confused. These need engines, but where are they getting them from? Are they drop? Oh, I, oh, I see. I see. All right. So they're being dropped off here, picked up there. I get you. All right. All right. I get it. Why is the lubricant so low? 
Okay, that's good. Oh, oh, it's it's uh, it's regulated by here. Okay, that's fine. All right, so we have uh, we got yellow science now for this to work right. Um, this is gonna come down over and connect over there. All right. Score, and then that'll go on that. Nice. All right. Um, so what we can do here is I got this that goes. All right. So yellow science trickling in, and it's not waiting for anything except for blues. And if I split blues, that's going to take a long time. So I think we'll limp along with one yellow. Um, I want to focus on power because the, the upgrades to smelting are going to be a power draw and we need to like get this all fixed except for the concrete. So this says I need what? 400 solar panels. All right, so let's let that do its thing. In fact, what we can do is I think, um, how much is that gonna cost? 500, oh. All right, let's get that because I could use the requester chests. All right, what do we got here? Only 30? Wow, that didn't get a whole lot made. All right. I need to um, make some room. A lot of room. For sneaker netting stuff down. Um, Actually, hang on, let's do this. Batteries can go here. Oh, all right. Wait, where'd they go? <gasps> oh, they're there. All right, batteries. Those there. All right, so let's put plastic in there. Is there anything else I want to, oh, wait. Um, That guy can go there. All right, um, so temporarily, let's put the drills there. I don't need those. Is there anything else I don't need? I don't need the rails. Don't need those. All right, so I need to grab some more of these. No, I don't. So I want to I want to load up on green. So let's turn this off, and that's good. We're gonna run up here. Oh, look at this! That ain't good. Um, all right, so this needs greens. So let's do, um, one, two, three, four, wait, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, was that 10? Yeah, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you're missing steel and so let's put those there. We'll load up on steel. There you go. Um, 
All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We need batteries. All right, so let's put excess steel there. Let's come here and get batteries. Actually, wait. We do that. Um. So the whole recipe two and five. So it uses more batteries than that. Um. So let's do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave all this here. Yes, I am. All right, so I knew the copper was gonna suffer um, because we're using still the older and um, Six hundred twenty still in copper plus this, so that's a million copper. It's just, I guess I can upgrade the belt so they'll be faster. But eventually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and drag it all the way, all the way up here to some electric smelters. So I can empty that out. Hey, golf, come on. Uh, all right, I think that's good. Yeah, all right, let's go do another solar panel run. Actually, we don't have to. We just need to load them up and send it on its way. Uh, um, well, I did a couple of things. We got rid of the old iron and steel smelting, and we're using electric and what I did, oh, I need to go fix that. Um, I learned something from from this, that you can have multiple train stations with the same name. I didn't know that. I was always trying to be unique so I knew where stuff was going. And since I'm gonna have, I think, I think we're gonna have another, so we're gonna have three because I need to add, I think, four more iron 
I know, I mean, this is incredible because it figures it out itself. And I didn't think it did that. I thought you had to use logic or something like that. So I have, you know, this right here is 20 million and I can add another train. So I always have one waiting, but um, I'm not that big of an operation yet. So it's what I'm trying to do is get all my smelting up here and then drag it down into uh, the bus to be used. So all this stuff is kind of like, so this is like 0 0.5, this is 1.0, and then all this is gonna be upgraded to 2.0, and then this is 1.0 or 2.0, so. I want all the smelting up here, and I wanna drag it to the bus, but I want this stuff to be moved up here so I can have more room to drag and lower stuff. So we're kind of in a kind of in a flux or a transitional stage. Yeah, that's it. So according to this, we still need 300. Um, looks like accumulators. I'm gonna say what 100 and all right, maybe 200. Now it's creeping up even more. How much do I got? Oh, okay, 246. All right, so let's grab all of those. And so that I don't have to run all the way over. I, I created a, a little personal uh, train system here that I can just drop this stuff off in here. Tell this to go. So it'll go there, drop off, refuel, and then come back. Now, I don't have to go over there and walk through and have everything, you know, fixed and, and done and whatnot. So when the train goes over there, so it dropped everything off and then it unloads down to yellow chests. And as soon as they hit the yellow chests, we should see construction bots. Wait for it. All right, there they are. There they go, see? So they're going over there to grab the panels and stuff that's needed to finish the construction over here. It looks like, I wonder what I'm missing here. Nothing? Oh. Oh, okay, there's nothing missing. Oh, yay. All right. And then the train comes back, so it should be pretty much refueled. Perfect. So I think I have a lasting power because you can see we, we made it through the night. We're doing research. So that means all the factories are going, all the smelting's going, all the inserters are going, and we were able to survive through the night with more than enough power. So I, I'm pretty sure I can go forward with the copper smelting. Yay, we got requester chest now. Yep, that's what we'll start on. Now I'm hoping tomorrow we're gonna do some Kerbal. Um, so yes, I'm gonna take a, a probably a week or two break do some Kerbal, then we'll come back and do a couple more weeks of Factorio. Um, I need to, uh, I need to see if some mods have been updated because um, I'm, I'm missing a challenge without the, uh, one of the mods. So anyways, all right guys, that's gonna do it for today. I appreciate it very much. Let's roll some credits here real quick. There go the credits. Um, Squirrel, thanks for the follow. Appreciate that very much. Race. Actually, I wonder why it, I, somebody said the, uh, the, the stream did freeze and it's, it's missing out on, um, race did a, uh, a donation that came through and it's funny. It's not even actually in my, my feed here. That's really weird. But, uh, race, thanks for the 50 bucks, man. Old grumpy. We'll see you later. Saturn. I'm out of here. I'll see you later guys. Have a good one.